Migrants continue to arrive south of the border, trying to make their way into the U.S. On Monday, another wave of false information brought them to the Paso Norte Bridge, and now we're learning what led to the confusion. ABC 7's Juarez correspondent Heriberto Perez has the story. After more migrants arrived here to downtown Juarez on Monday, it brought more economic losses to the border. Now Juarez officials are trying to prevent this from happening again. De la misma aplicación les decía que tenían que estar en algún lugar próximo a la frontera. Enrique Valenzuela with Coespo in Juarez says, besides the misinformation migrants saw on social media about a possible border opening, the CBP-1 app says they need to be in a place close to the border. Muchos de ellos entendían que era acercarse hasta el cruce fronterizo. Migrants understood they needed to be literally next to the ports of entry and not only in a border city like Juarez. The mayor of Juarez, Cruz Perez Cuellar, mentioned in a news conference on Monday that some migrants even left the city's shelter due to these rumors. Y, y algunos se salen de los albergues, lamentablemente. Se les explica, pues, que no. He says once migrants leave the shelters, officials try to convince them that it is not true. The state of Chihuahua also mentioned that during Monday's protest, the state and the port of entry lost around 109,000 Mexican pesos in three hours. That's nearly $6,000. Hay mucha gente impaciente, hay mucha gente frustrada. And Valenzuela was saying these type of events happen because there's a lot of people impatient, frustrated. This frustration comes because once they see the border, they see the American dream. Reporting from downtown Juarez, Heriberto Perez, ABC7. Juarez officials say it's crucial to make migrants aware of the resources they have in Mexico in order to prevent them from risking their lives crossing the border as a result of false information.